an aerial view of the Kalehe region in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo shows the extent of the destruction caused by last week's landslide. Homes, schools and markets were swept away. Hundreds of people were killed. Thousands are missing. A major road connecting South and North Kivu provinces was cut off. Volunteers like Amani Mulenga are trying to clear the debris as they look for more bodies. They are working on a bridge at the center of the village, but it's no easy task. This is where most of the water came flooding through when the river burst its banks. I live near here. It's shocking to see the devastation. People are trying to save what they can from structures that are barely holding. Flood waters came gushing down the hills, bringing with them rocks, trees and mud. Most survivors are being treated for broken bones and bruises. Some were referred to better equipped hospitals in the province. Some of the injured people are in this health facility. They're recovering well, but doctors say they are running short of medical supplies and food. <coughs> this health center survived the landslide. Prudent, Rega and other health workers have been working round the clock for days. We have no medicine. The patients don't have enough food. The government is helping with that. People are traumatized. They need counseling. There are not enough doctors and nurses. People have told us they will rebuild their homes, but they know it's going to be a long, hard journey. Catherine Soy, Nyamakubi, South Kivu, Democratic Republic of Congo. The World Health Organization says